<clears throat> What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Shanice, and it's your girl. Mm -hmm. And today we had we're having ice cream. What kind of ice cream you got? Party cake. Not sure what she got. I got toasted almonds, y'all, with gummy worms on top. Mm -hmm. I want it to be different. Oh, this party cake grease tastes really good. Okay. Let me try it. <laughs> what kind of flavor do I get from it? Tastes really good. Mm? What kind of flavor do you feel like you're getting from this? It really tastes good. No flavor. It tastes good, yes, but anyway, it, buy. it get clad. Anyways, y'all, mm. it kind of tastes like eggnog. Yep. <laughs> this is so good. You have the same thing every time. But today, y'all, we're doing a topic. We're talking about um, strict parents, the benefits of having a strict parents, and the pros and the cons, all right? Remember when we did an ice cream one? <laughs> Why we did that? <laughs> <laughs> You're mean, bro. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I watched it though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, that wasn't really a book, man. Uh, right. Yeah, I could. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Kick us off. <laughs> um, so, personally, I think my dad was a very strict parent. How his? How is your dad strict? Like, I feel like he's strict and he's also controlling. Like, he no, 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 no. Let's, let's, we want to track the story, right? May I explain that? But I'm saying, how is he strict? What makes him strict? The, I'm just explaining that. Like, mm -hmm. He, he want to maintain control. He don't want you to go anywhere. Because he wants you to know where you are at all times. Ooh. You know? Um, certain events that come up at school. You don't want you to go. That, all that kind of stuff. No, no. I'm going to track the story for y'all. Because she needs to do right, a good ahead, job of tracking the story. Because she didn't answer the question. <laughs> And I want to put this disclaimer out there that we love our dad. He's a good dad. You know, every parent has their ways. But overall, our dad is a good dad. You know, he tried his best. He did his best. You know what I'm saying? Ray, 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 yada, yada, yada. The whole disclaimer spiel because people like to try it. And you want to try it, I will try it back. That's the energy I'm on for the rest of 2024. Try me. Sorry, it's from my spoon. Sorry. <laughs> Can I try again? <laughs> right. All right, after my disclaimer. So, as Shani said, our dad is pretty much strict. So, how is our dad strict? Number one, no sleepovers. No hanging out with friends. And I'm talking about back in the day. Now I pretty much do, <laughs> but um, I right, no hanging out with friends, no sleepovers. Um, I couldn't go to the mall without like your siblings. Mm -hmm. Um, basically you had to do everything with your siblings, nobody else. Um, no staying out late. Um, or else he will be blowing up. That he phone. blow your phone up. Mm -hmm. Ask you where you at. Saying he didn't raise you like that for real, and you have to be back by like, like seven. It'd be like eight o'clock, bro. Eight o'clock <laughs> at night, bro. And he calling you saying that. Um, what else? You just unlike. You were just. Well, I feel like we were just on a tight leash when it came to like going out and other people. Yeah. When we weren't on a tight leash with other things, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. some of the, some of the other things that we should have been on a tight leash with, we wasn't on a tight leash with. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. There was another rule. No. No. Um. TV during the week, only on the weekend, so you could focus on your homework. <coughs> I didn't get a phone till I was in eighth grade, y'all. I used to come I home. I couldn't bring my phone to school. <laughs> well, that was on you. <laughs> but we're gonna 
want to save that for another day. Because mm-hmm. you caused that. It's a different story, time. Because of Shanice, I could not bring my phone to school. That's this. That's the suckiest part about being the youngest sister is that your older people, older siblings, they, they t- ruin it they for you. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, um, I didn't get a phone until I was in eighth grade. I would come home and make up random scenarios because I wanted a phone so bad to call my friends. Couldn't do that. My dad told me to use the house phone one time. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> so that's just to give you guys a picture of how strict our dad is. Now your parent may be even stricter than that, or just as strict, or not that strict. Yeah. He wanted us to go from home, work, school to church. That's literally. It. We didn't mm-hmm. go nowhere else. If it wasn't a field trip, we didn't go. We couldn't go. Only way I got to know my cities from going on field trip or and going on a school bus and looking out the windows. I'm weak, <laughs> but some of the I feel like some of the the benefits of having a strict parent is like mm-hmm. I think about like now like if I were to go back in time like for example like me wanting to hang out hang out with my friends um like for example I, I asked I remember this one time I asked my dad if I could go to the mall with my friends he said no right. I couldn't go because there was people dying in Florida. We're not even in Florida, y'all. So, like, you know, what I feel like I you feel use like, the news to scare us, y'all. I w- and then so, but I feel like back in that time, like I think I was probably in like seventh or eighth grade. In that time, I was like, yeah, maybe I had no business being at the mall with my friends because imagine what would happen. Imagine, because imagine what what would have happened, right? But and then. So I feel like, you know, that's some of the benefits. Like, sometimes it do protect you from certain things that you can't see. Mm -hmm. And then for me, another benefit would be, I can't tell another one. So go ahead. Oh, you you can't recall it. (laughs) Nope. I think another um, benefit was probably like, it just led to academic success. Yeah, what else like, are you going to do? Yeah, like, me personally, you don't go anywhere else, so you have no choice. Oh, and you had, to, just to comment on what she needs to say, and you had to have good grades. Mm-hmm. He didn't want to see no B, just so, A's, mm-hmm. and you had to come home on green. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, yeah, that's what I was saying, because you, you don't have access to the TV during the week, you know what I mean? He'd be like, oh, put the phones away and go to your bed, blah, blah, blah. Um, a book so, over summer. So yeah, you gotta read the book over the summer. So it's like you have no choice but to do well in school. So eventually translated um, towards high school and college, where you ended up liking it for yourself and wanting that academic success for yourself. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But another thing though, I would say is like it definitely brought for like discipline because I and I feel like. You become more respectful to people as well. Like, <clears throat> like you ever see, so, you ever see, so, you're so annoying, bro. You ever see some people and they're just like mad rude to their parents or just like to teachers in general? Because your parents are so strict, you're not gonna be out here doing that because you know what you're gonna get. Yeah, I get one drift. You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean? I just said that, what I meant. I said, I said, you know, you ever seen some people that they, um, they're rude to their elders, they're rude to their teachers or whatever, but when you grow up with a strict parents, you aren't really rude to your, to your elders Mm -hmm, or whatever, because Mm -hmm. you, you grow up with a strict parents and you know what you're going to get. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're not gonna listen, just just kindly exit the vehicle. Anyways, y'all. Yeah. So let's dive into some of the um the disadvantages. So my disadvantages is like I feel like my lack not being I w I'm not able to socialize now, right? And I'm give y'all an example. My dad like to say he don't have friends, he don't keep friends, right? 
That's what he liked to say. Or he liked to say, like, when I used to ask, oh, can I go somewhere? He would just yell and be like, oh, you know, you don't see me running down other people, talking to other people. The only friend is my kids. Mm -hmm. First of all, there's so many things wrong with that statement. But, like, we're not even going to get into that. Mm -hmm. Right? So... I feel like it didn't allow me to socialize. Like, I remember one time in elementary school, like, the teacher put, it was either in elementary or middle school, the teacher checked off on my progress report that I was talkative. And then I was like, he was like, why are you talkative in school? He was tight about that, right? And I was like, well, because my friends are talking to me. He was like, no, tell your friends that your dad said that you can't have no friends. So <laughs> what I did the next day, my friends tried to talk to me. I turned around and said, my father said I can't have no friends. And I didn't talk. Like, it was so stupid. I didn't talk for the rest of the year. Like, you see what I'm saying? It's so stupid. Like, I, and then, like, now I feel like. I can't hold on to a friendship because I don't know what a healthy friendship looks like because it wasn't it's not being demonstrated and I wasn't it's I didn't I don't feel validated in that area of my life from like I was a kid you know what I'm saying so uh -huh. so I just oh, she about to start preaching God, hold on hold on you know what I'm saying so I don't really feel you know what I'm saying validated so now I only got a few friends but do i only have a few friends because the whole time i'm growing up i'm like oh, i only have a few friends but why do you only have a few friends and secondly your kids shouldn't be your friend but we're not dissecting him right we're dissecting the behavior of being a strict parent mm -hmm. and so even and then even that to go to show is like some of the this another disadvantage of having a strict parent is like you have to know the reason why you're so strict and you need to be able to communicate that properly to your kids and just because you are a strict parent does not mean that you don't validate your children's feelings mm -hmm. because I feel like a lot of the things that was being strict about it really just disregard my feelings so now I disregard my own feelings and I tend to disregard other people's feelings because I don't know. Just from like growing up with a strict parent. Yeah, I get what you that mean. That was my example. Oh, okay. Um, me personally, I would say like when I was like finally starting to break out of my shell and like going out to eat and going out more, I would say like during that phase of like high school, I would say a disadvantage for me was that um I felt like I was closed off from the world. There was like so much I didn't see. So go on. And I was like, in like when when people would show me certain things, I would think it's the world, but in reality, it really wasn't. Like I have this story. One time I went to um, Chili's, right? And I was eating a piece of ribs, and the ribs were so good. I licked my fingers, right? And then I collected the bones, and I was getting ready to bring home the bones because I was like, oh my God, I've never had some piece of rib that tastes this good. And it was so embarrassing looking back now because it's like, I would never do that now. I'm like, girl, it's just a piece of ribs. But you know, when you're not um exposed to that because you don't go anywhere your parents try to keep you in the box and keep you at home you're never going to experience that on your own you know and so it leads to rebellion in a way because it makes you just want to run off and not want to look back mm -hmm. and a lot of kids do that they run away and they never go back home mm -hmm. hold on y'all need to pull up the windows because i don't know why these flies coming on my car i told you you're attracted to the, to the thing you sprayed on the car all right we're gonna go to the car right after anyway so I'm feeling suffocating here, y'all. The back windows is open. Okay. But yeah, y'all. Um, let me give you another. Yeah, another one. Um, wait. wait, I wanted to comment on what you said though. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I guys, I agree with Shanice and what she said. Like, I definitely do feel like, you know, what I'm saying a disadvantage of that is like you closed off into the, you know, the, to the world. Like, you feel like you think you've seen the world. But you haven't seen nothing yet. You don't. You haven't mm -hmm. even seen half the world, little girl. Because mm -hmm. especially when parents think, "Oh, just be strict, education, education, and go to college." I lost a college girl. No. When they got mm -hmm. college, you're, you're seeing different, different people with different views, and you need you need to know how to 
navigate. navigate that and deal with different people that are not from your culture that do not think like you that don't have the same experiences as you and so when the whole time you're talking when you're just saying no you can't go here no you can't go there that's how people get taken advantage of because i remember like let's, this is a topic right if anybody told me, well, I'm not going to lie, but me personally, I've tried. Oh, what, another thing, too, is my dad don't condone dating at a young age, even though we're not going to get into We're not going to spell nobody's tea. But that's, you know what I'm saying? So me personally, I, I've tried to date before, right? Just because if you haven't, I, I think you're lying or I don't know. But you had to have, like, somebody back in the day, right? So when... When another thing that Shanice touched on that I like that like what she said is if you why are you looking at the fly? <laughs> is that on the outside? Yeah. Oh okay. But if you like if you um for example you date somebody and you're not really seen or you're not able to talk about dating somebody because you know your parents don't condone it, you get taken advantage of, right? So, for example, like, if you don't go out all your life and then this person brings you to somewhere you've never been, you're like, oh, my God, they treat me so good. But then the whole time, like, they're dismissive of your feelings. They talk bad about you. They don't care. You're more prone to all that stuff because, like, you can't. You can't discuss it because you're like, oh, I know my dad isn't going to deal with that. Like, my dad, he acts very robotic. When I say that, it's like he likes to make it seem like he never went through that. Like, he gives a very robotic answer. He doesn't give a human answer of like, oh, yeah, you know, this happened to me before when I was younger. No, he'd be like, no, that's why you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, he just always says the right answer. And you don't, in the moment, you don't need a right answer. You need a relatable, real exactly. answer. Mm -hmm. But go ahead. For real, for real. But, I mean, eventually, that, like, leads, to, I was going to say, leads to, like, the relationship being strained. Because, you know, like, when you really look back, because as a kid, you don't see all this stuff. When you look back as, a, as an adult and you see, like, dang, you really have me out here looking crazy because even when you start dating like i like what she said because you are going to get taken advantage of because you don't know what to expect one you don't know your self-worth you know and all this stuff so it's like it's now it's on you to learn that because you've never went out there your parents won't talk to you about certain things you have to learn everything on your own so yeah yeah, and that Shanice said before, like, it really leads to rebellion. It's either you get to a point when you grow up, it's either you take your freedom or you just be, like, deal with it mentally. Mm -hmm. sure. Because it's like, as some, it's not realistic, especially you're young, like, you mad young. It's not realistic and it's not healthy. It's not realistic and it's not healthy to go from work, church, school, work church school you still have other areas in life that you mm -hmm. want to experience you want to hang out with friends you want to talk to your friends you want to go places with your friends you want to be with your friends you yeah, know what i'm saying exactly. you want to you want like it's not healthy it's so not realistic and so you know and i feel like part of it could be fear too yeah from a parent it could just be fear of that what they the, went through yeah well. could be fear of the world what the world could do to your child or whatever and i get that but at some point your yeah, child has well. to experience that for themselves and you have to let them go and the greatest thing that i always tell parents is that if you know you instilled something into a child and you know you did the best that you could you have to let them go and trust that that installation that you did in them will carry them through and the best thing for you that you could do for your child is to let them go but know that they always got you all they always have you don't try to control them and hang on to them because it's just gonna lead to like rebellion as Shanice was saying you just gonna rebel it's either you're gonna take your freedom when you say no I'm gonna say yes and then we just not going the relationship going to Yeah, you going it's going to be a pull back and forth <laughs> when there needs to be a compromise in the middle where it's like okay and it's crazy because it's like sometimes like you think like oh as a child am I doing something wrong but no come especially growing up in a 
um, West Indies, like West Indian or like a Caribbean household, baby, go ahead and take that freedom. They'll be okay. That's the only way. Go ahead and do what you want to do. They'll be okay, bro. Cause but they never gonna give you that freedom. They never. They make you think they gonna give you, but you never gonna get it. Because another thing I realized with them too is they they always say, oh my God, I want you to be married by a certain age, but you never let me date. You never let me do all this stuff. So how do you expect that? Mm -hmm. And then another thing is they preach education, education. And then when you're all focused on education, you have no life outside mm -hmm. of education. Like, for example, when you go to college, your friends are like, oh, I'm going to do soccer this weekend. You don't have nothing to do because all you did all your whole life was go home, work, school, church. Work, yeah. Work, school, church. And that's, that's as it. I said, that's don't not know, realistic. You don't even know yourself. That's not realistic because, yeah. and then the thing is like, if you think about it, our parents wasn't really doing that at our age. It wasn't really doing what? Work, work church school. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's because of their experiences why they want to control, control, you know? But, like, me personally, I feel like when I was trying to learn to, like, I was learning how to play basketball and all this stuff. That was another thing that was out of the norm that I wanted to do. And in a way, I kind of got shut down because, like, I would want certain things to, to bring my game to the next level. I would need, like, basketball shoes. I would need, like, certain things. And my dad would say no because I'm not playing professionally. Looking back, <laughs> that was a very ignorant answer because that it's something you need to do better in the game. But, you know. Mm -hmm. So overall, my advice to parents that are so strict is to loosen that leash on your child, bro. Remember what it was like to be their age. Loosen that leash. Let them experience, you know, the world. But also, at the same time, just be there for them as they experience it. That's the best, the greatest thing that you can do. Obviously, I'm not saying to let your seven-year-old go to the park every single day. We're talking about older kids now. And tr to all the people from the older kids, like, at some point, because I'm not going to lie. Hold on, because y'all thought this video was, was done. Another example that I would give is I would literally ask my dad to go hang out with my friends, and he would say, yes, I would ask two weeks, three weeks in advance. Then the day of, I'm getting ready, la, 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 la. I'm getting ready to go. <laughs> Baby, I'm out the door. I'm unlocking the door. And then he would be like, oh. He'll be like, oh, where you going? I'm like, to my friend, like with my friends, you remember what I said? I'm going to the movies. Remember I asked you? He was like, oh, time serious. You can't think more movie. <laughs> I just asked no. you. And then I would be with my friend and then Shanice would be like, oh, who dare say to come home right now? I was like, Okay, and I would be out, out, in the, at wherever I was with my friends crying, and it was just embarrassing as heck because it's like, you're, I'm crying because you said yes in the first place, and then you wanted to go back on your word. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like that really gets me so mad, and it's like, there's no need for that. There's no need for that. There's no need. Yeah. To, there's mm -hmm. no absolutely no need for that. So there, my point that I was trying to make is that there's sometimes it comes a point where like you like especially kids that come from Caribbean and strict household is like you try to ask your parent and it's all the answer is always no 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 and I started experiencing that so I just started to do 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 and the asking cut out yeah so, so now I just do, but hey do. I'm going out I don't mm -hmm. even ask no more yeah like you just I have to kind of take that freedom because yeah. right? it's not going to be given to you like you think it's going to be given to you but it's not it's not maybe it's not but it's now not. I got one question for you do you think um do you think being grown up with strict parents has like made you independent or or you think you lack independency I'm very hyper independent I think I'm a little bit even too much independent mm -hmm. but I don't think that has to do anything on me being a strict parent I think that has something to do with something else but different another part of parenting but i don't think it has anything to do with strict parenting mm -hmm. because i know like some people they'll they'll struggle with decision making because they you have strict parents that do everything for you so that's all i'm just saying mm -mm. Me personally, about i don't you? think so i don't think i struggle with decision making i think i'm very independent too too independent mm -hmm. and I, I feel like yeah to the point i don't even want people doing anything for me or like yeah buying me stuff yeah i don't really like that like you know what i hate i hate when people be like oh so what you want 
I want nothing. <laughs> like I'm that that very much independent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. I'm me personally. I don't even be asked. I just be doing everything for myself. Like, mm-hmm. but because I and I, as I said, I feel like I don't. I don't really be having friends like that. Like. But anyways, y'all, if y'all want a part two or y'all want to discuss more, feel free to comment down below. Let us know also, your experiences. Yeah, let us know if y'all had strict parents. What was your experience like? Do you guys have similar experiences as us? How did you parents, get away from them? How do you them? feel? And then, like, just let us know everything, guys. Like, yeah. How did you get away from your strict parents? Yeah. <laughs> did you overcome that? Let me know. Yeah. Because, you know, we still learning. We still mm-hmm. live with our parents. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we out. Bye. Peace. Bye, y'all. Yo. I've been working on it. Putting in overtime. Putting in overtime.